For the last two years, I've been doing an insane social experiment on social media. Most people who have engaged with my content have literally no idea that this has been going on. And to be honest, this might be frustrating to some of you. But everything that I have done up until this point has been an experiment to see if I could find the magic formula to go viral on social media over and over and over again. Today, I'm gonna share exactly what's worked for me to literally get hundreds of millions of views and millions of followers across YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Buckle up because these results are gonna blow you away. A quick history about me, if you don't know this, is I've been doing social media for 18 years. I actually got started back on MySpace. But these results came from the last two years of testing this strategy out. At some point, I realized it was easier to get negative engagement than it was to get positive engagement. Stick with me here. And so I want you to think about this for a moment. Have you ever posted a video, a picture, said something online, and maybe you made some sort of mistake in that post? What happened? Did people run to the comments to correct you or assert their egos? Well, this happened to me. I actually went viral by accident because I had mispronounced a word in a video. And so I thought, hmm, I can take advantage of this. Let me try it out. And what happened next after I went all in on this theory literally changed my life. See, all of these social media platforms don't care if the engagement and the comments is positive or negative. They just want more engagement. And so most people are afraid of the trolls Hello? running to the comments. People are self-conscious. You have physical things about yourself that you worry about. Maybe your hair's not perfect that day, or maybe you have a, a little bit of a, a lisp or a speech impediment, or there's something about you that you're a little self-conscious about. And so you're afraid of people running to the comments to point out that thing about you. And I totally understand and respect that, but these are trolls. What I do is I literally troll the trolls. Hey, wait a minute, what the There's always going to be grammar Nazis coming to the comments. There's always going to be people that disagree with your opinions. There's always going to be people that are basement dwellers. It's always like username 47,365 with no profile image and no content on their page that are the ones to point out some sort of flaw to you. But what does this do? This helps your content reach more people. And so some of the strategies that I've done over the last couple of years is I will literally mispronounce words on purpose in videos. I will share a web website like AnswerSocrates.com and I'll pronounce it AnswerSocrates.com and I'll just keep moving on. And so what does that do? People run to the comments and say, how dare you mispronounce the legendary philosopher Socrates name wrong. Phonetically spell it out, Socrates. I love this. It gets them every time. I've highlighted video editors like DaVinci Resolve and I'll say DaVinci. I once shared a recipe website where it showed recipes from famous chain restaurants and I highlighted Outback's Bloomin' Onion, but I said Bloomin' Onion, like the guy from Arrested Development. No, 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 no. Every single time this works. Over and over and over again. People run to the comments, but what does that do? It increases my engagement on my video. Another one of my favorite hacks that I've been doing lately because I share useful websites is when I hold my camera up to the screen to show that actual URL, I'll plan a little folder right below it and it'll say something suspect like Mr. Beast NUD dot 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 or Donald Trump NUD dot 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 and I don't mention it I don't say anything about it but it's there in plain visibility and so what does this do this causes people to run to the comments and and it causes comment strings and they say did anybody else see this folder <laughs> <laughs> and people will respond to the comments and say, oh, I thought I was the only one. But if they also, what do they do? I'll show it at the beginning of the video. So they have to rewatch the video and see if they actually saw that. They maybe psychologically saw it at, at first and then they rewatch the video over again to say, oh my gosh, that I did see that. What the heck is this dude searching for? This is ridiculous. And so that increases my engagement. It increases my rewatch rate on the video and average view duration, which are all positive metrics for social media. Another thing that I'll do is I'll mess up my hair on purpose. I'll mess up glasses if I'm wearing glasses. I'll make purposeful errors in my content over and over again because it works every 
time. But another really cool benefit of this is a psychological hack that is a game changer for building a loyal audience. See, there's a concept in good marketing about building your tribe and bringing them in on an insider joke. So the people that watch my content every single time, they know that this is an inside joke. They know that I'm doing this to increase the engagement. Many people actually find this funny. It becomes something that they can actually search for. I also love that the new people that come to my content, they run to the comments and assert themselves, right? Anybody else wanna talk about this folder that he put in there? The true fans and the, the people that watch the videos over and over again will run to the comments and say, first time here, huh? Or you must be new here. Or they'll even point it out and say, he just does this to increase the engagement, you fell for it. Ha! <laughs> Got he! This strategy has worked unbelievably well. Every single one of my short form videos that I do this in goes viral almost every single time. I currently have 810,000 followers on Facebook. I have 570 something thousand subscribers on YouTube. I have 750,000 followers on TikTok. I have 350,000 followers on Instagram. And I reach about 30 million to 50 million people a month because of this strategy strategy. And so you might be thinking to yourself, well, is that actually working for his business? Is that actually generating him leads and sales? Or is it turning people away because he's saying such stupid things in it? The reality here is that the information and content within my video is helpful. It's for my target demographic. The trolls and the haters that come to the comments are never who I want to reach anyway. But their engagement and their re-watching fuels that video so that my videos can reach more people, help more people, and inspire more people. Also, I'm kind of just a quirky, weird guy, and this is my style of humor. I find this stuff really funny. When I plant these little Easter eggs, I crack myself up by adding these things into it, and that's the type of people that I'm looking for. I don't need to work with every single person out there. I don't need to be uh, attractive uh, as the marketing agency that everybody needs to work with. I want to work with that person that has a little bit of a sense of humor, can see what I'm doing, wants to incorporate that strategy into their business because of these explosive growth hacks. And so even if you don't want to take it to the extreme that I do in some of these engagement hacks, think to yourself about how you can incorporate a recurring Easter egg series in your content. For example, maybe you're a real estate agent and you do house tours. Can you have somebody dressed up in a Bigfoot costume and just walk by really fast in, uh, in, the, in the house or, or outdoors or do anything recurring in every single one of your videos that becomes that Easter egg and causes people to want to engage more in your content. Try this strategy out and let me know if you start to see explosive growth in your content. And if you want more digital marketing strategies like this so you can drastically change your life and scale your business, you know what to do.